Hi and welcome to another tutorial series on this channel. In this tutorial series, we are going to talk about TypeScript. So before moving forward, I would like to request you to consider subscribing to my channel and helping me grow my community. Starting with TypeScript tutorial series, I'm not going to assume that you have any prior knowledge of TypeScript. This tutorial series is geared towards complete beginners who may have heard the name of TypeScript, but they have not coded even one line of TypeScript. However, prior knowledge of JavaScript is required since TypeScript is uh, a superset of JavaScript. It's really important for you to understand JavaScript so you can understand why TypeScript is important. However, I do not assume that you have you are like a an advanced JavaScript developer that you have like a little bit experience with that. All right. So what is TypeScript? TypeScript is a strongly typed programming language. So it is a programming language, even though it is a superset of JavaScript. TypeScript is built, uh, built on top of JavaScript. And the idea behind TypeScript is to give you better tooling at any scale. TypeScript adds additional syntax to JavaScript to support a tighter and integration with your editor. And it allows us to catch errors early in the code editor before jumping to the production stage. Now, the good thing with uh, one of the benefits of TypeScript is that it understands JavaScript and it has one secret weapon that it uses to help us uh, master um, the art of uh, not shipping errors to our production stage. And TypeScript does that using type inference. And this gives us a lot of tooling, a lot of benefits without actually additional code. We are going to talk about what TypeScript inference is and what type annotation. We are going to cover all of that. This is just like an introduction to what TypeScript is and why it is really a good skill for you to pick up as a JavaScript developer, all right? Now, why you would want to learn TypeScript, that is the aim of this entire tutorial series. So that's not something that I can share with you like in two minutes. You have to see it in code. I could talk about it, which I'm doing, but you have to see it in code. You have to really understand what problems, what issues and bugs you had in JavaScript and how TypeScript allows you to get rid of those before even like going to production. Like in the development stage, you're gonna catch a lot of errors that otherwise would be impossible with plain old JavaScript. Now, TypeScript uh, is not re readable by um, the browser in this case. Uh, so TypeScript converts or compiles to JavaScript. And then we can use JavaScript to run everywhere that we want. For example, in a browser, in a Node.js app, or in Dino, or in other applications that you might be working with. All right, so with this, uh, the introduction video comes to an end, and I really hope to see you in the upcoming uh, videos. Uh, I will try to add videos, uh, upload videos day, uh, weekly, <laughs> not daily, weekly from this point onwards. Uh, the reason that I had such a long gap was that I was going through like a major change in my life and I couldn't work. I didn't have my um, equipment, my setup. And I just started to record videos and I hope that I can provide more videos to you guys and mm, to everyone. And also I am working on updating uh, my Udemy courses as well as adding new courses. So big things are going to come up uh, and stay tuned for all of them. And I think that is it. That's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video.
See you in the next one.